Hey there YouTubers, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Today we had a very quick question, so we're hoping this is going to be a speed tip today. We had a question regarding, let's open this user form here. They said, what if you don't want your text boxes, and I'm going to make three here, let's just three, and what happens is whenever he hits the arrow key, I'm going to hit the down arrow, you notice it jumps to a different control, and he doesn't like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to prevent this text box when I hit the down arrow key from jumping to there or the up arrow key from jumping to there. We want it to stay put. So what we're going to do is we double click on the text box that we want to affect. And I don't want the change event. I want the key down event. And we've talked about this in a different previous video, but we're going to use the key code. And let's go ahead and hit the, uh, press the stop button and run our macro. The key down is any keystroke that is pressed down. So I'm going to hit the down or up arrow and press it down. So that was the down arrow. If I hover over the key code, this is currently 40, which I guess 40 equals the down arrow. So if we make a note of that, 40 is down. And uh, let's go ahead and close it. Press up. See what that is. Up is 38. And I think left and right are 39 and 41 respectively but let's just do a range so we don't have to take very much time here I'm gonna say if the key code is greater than or equal to 38 and it's also less than or equal to um, let's say 41 so it'll cover all four arrow keys I think you can change this if you want to put a different thing in there oops and the key code is greater than or less than or equal to 41. So if it's between 38 and 41, then we simply want to make the key code equal to false. And we need to put our end if here. Now if the key code is equal to false, that means that it will no longer uh, let that keystroke go to the text box at the very end of the macro. It'll actually disable it or cancel it out. So that you can do that with numbers or with letters as well. You can cancel them out if they happen to be a keystroke that you don't like. So it'll only allow the keys that you want. So this will this that's what this will do. Key code and let's hit F8. Okay, so let's see that in real time now. So if I hit the down arrow key. Yeah, it triggers this. Okay, down arrow, up arrow, not doing anything. But if I go to this one and hit up arrow, it still goes there because we haven't done that to that control. So we would just want to do the same thing to any controls that you don't want them to particularly move. The main thing here is the key code equals false whenever you want it to be. You don't want it to always be false or no keystrokes will ever go through. And I'll show you that. I'll prove it to you right now. Um, let's put key code equals false at every at all times while I'm typing random letters and space bars and stuff. So we don't want that. We just want key code equals false under certain conditions. And I'll go ahead and copy that. Control C. And I didn't mean to run that. And I'm going to double click here and paste it not here for the key down event. And so now whenever I hit the up arrow it doesn't do anything for that control either. This has been a speed lesson. Be sure to check us out on ExcelVBASFun.com for more tips and resources. The download link is going to be in the video description, so check that out. Be sure and click like if you liked, or click the down arrow if you didn't really like it. Uh, leave us a comment if you have a question or whatever. And again, thank you for watching, and God bless.